Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette Speedy World and I am Jeanette. I'm here to do an unboxing tonight um, of the Glitz Glam Box. In case you can't see, we're all glittery and glammy today. I'm going to uh, do the unboxing and do a try-on of the products that I find in the box. So if you want to see that, see how I did this eye look, see what my thoughts and opinions are on this bag, Go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, here we are everybody to do another unboxing. Today I'm going to do the Glitz Glam Box and I'm going to try on what I get in this box. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this company. This box goes for uh, $15 a month and $2.99 in shipping. It says company is created by three sisters from New Jersey. Uh, it's a beauty box created for those wanting to take their makeup game to the next level. This box was specifically curated for those not afraid of wearing a glitter cut crease to the grocery store on a Tuesday afternoon. For those who take that extra 15 minutes to smoke out the top lid before adding the second layer of loose glitter with wing liner and of course lashes. This box also features a variety of new upcoming and indie makeup brands with a deep love and passion for glitz and glam. We love finding the hottest products to elevate your makeup to celestial status and deliver them right to your door every month. Um, now this is the second or third box I've gotten. Um, I think it's the third one, and I'm, and I'm really enjoying it. You do get one glitter product, or a pair of lashes, plus two to three full-size beauty products to elevate your game face. Um, it says you can't spell glam without glitter and lashes. So, um, I don't know if they do the glitter in there anymore. I don't, I don't think they did last month, but they had good products in there so let's uh, dig in and see what we got all right so this is my bag the glitz glam bag open her up pull out our card so and then it has the products on the back oops upside down sorry <laughs> Um, it says uh, XOXO Chanel and Lauren, your Glitz Glam Box team. Um, oh, I wonder what happened to the third sister. On the website, it has three sisters. Uh, hello, beautiful. Thank you for being the most important part of the Glitz Glam fam. We are sending you glam vibes from the Jersey Shore. So, hello, back east. I'm from New York. So, yeah. So, I like... Uh, been in touch with people from the East Coast. All right, the first thing, they put a little gift in here is some, some salt water taffy. But let me tell you, ladies, since you sent it to uh, Tucson, Arizona, and it's 100 degrees outside, it's a little smushed right now because it got a little hot in the mailbox. <laughs> so you don't need to send me salt water taffy in the future. <laughs> Okay, it won't bother me at all. Uh, it says saltwater taffy was created in 1883 at Ocean City, New Jersey, and remains a boardwalk staple. Enjoy this sweet little treat from the Jersey Shore. XOXO, the Glitz Glam Box team. So maybe you can send it in the winter time, <laughs> and maybe it won't melt in my mailbox. All right, so let's see. We got everything wrapped up. That's just some tissue paper. Get things wrapped up in here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, that's just tissue paper. The rest of it. Put that over here. So they wrap it up all nice. Don't we don't do basic. That's what their little sticker says. So open this up. Okay. Oh yes okay so first thing we find here we've got a little mermaid um shadow brush how cute is that how pretty is that 
I love me some little brushes. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that today as part of our uh, try-on session. I love that metal matches my mirror. I have to show you how it met. I put it on my mirror. I got my fancy mirror here. It lights up. But look at the, it matches. <laughs> I laid it. Oh, they're the same color. All right. Put that down here. So then here's the lashes that you get. Uh, Never Basic Lashes by Glitz Glam Box. Look how cute this is. Um, they got a little starfish on here for the Jersey Shore. They made these boxes themselves. Uh, the One of the sisters designed this box. Um, yeah, it's very cute. Thank you for purchasing your pair of Glitz Glam Box Foam Mink Lashes. The Never Basic Lash is the perfect finishing touch for any glam look. Glitz Glam Box Lashes are good for up to 20 uses with proper care. Head to glitzglambox.com to secure the glam. All right, let me take these out of the box. And I told you I'm going to try on the stuff that's coming in this box for you today. So, ooh, look at those. All right. Oh, I didn't bring in. I'll, I'll go get them in a little while. So, Silk Lips Color Story. Nourishing Lip Butters Infused with Shea Butter. And you get a two-pack. That's nice. Nourishing Lip Butters. And if I can get it open, I'm going to have to get my scissors. I started just keeping my scissors out when I'm doing these unboxings. They come in quite handy. All right. My garbage can over here. All right. Come like this. Let's see. What are the? I know they had two different kinds. Let's see what kind I got. Um, doo -doo. Made with vitamin, made with vitamin E, shea butter to soften and smooth lips while providing a subtle sheen. Uh, doesn't say. Oh, here we go. Coconut water and grapefruit. It says it on the top there. Okay. And that's those. Oh, this smells good. Okay. And these little plastic containers. Yeah, this was the coconut one. And this does says yeah, it has a little citrusy scent to it, the grapefruit. Okay. Let's put some coconut on. Yeah. If you're allergic to coconut, don't use this one. I have a friend that's aller deathly allergic to all kinds of coconut. So, all right. Let's put this stuff over here. And continue on. And the last thing in my box, we got a palette, Ocean Oasis by Color Story Press Pigment Palette. And let's get this plastic wrapper off so we can look at it. And see what I'm putting on my eyes. How pretty this is. Very pretty. There's the back. And we're putting some ocean colors on my eyes. Has a cute little mirror there. Look at that. There's some glitter in the palette. Yeah, infinite and Triton. It's taped down. The plastic. <laughs> the the plastic 
over top of the shadows is taped down. So it's well secured, right? Okay. Okay. Just got the plastic off. Out. <laughs> I hit my hand on my keyboard tray. Let's push that in. Get it out of the way, right? Okay, so let's swatch a couple of these first. Uh, let's see. Sorry, let me, I'm going to add a little light over here because the sun's starting to go down. So it was like shining in between the blinds and I can't fix that in this in my office here. So I'm going to do White Haven. Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of a marbled look. Let's see where it comes out. That's pretty. All right, and let me see. Yeah, this is glitter. Here I am doing my wonderful swatches. And they do say that all their glitters are eye safe. We do this other glitter called Triton. It's a gold one. Very pretty. Look at that. Yeah. So let me get out my makeup white so that I can swatch some of the other ones. Oh, there's another one that's kind of marbleized called Amaryllis. It's in pink colors. Okay. I'm going to watch. I don't get swatches on my shirt here. Uh, so look right there. Okay. That's swatched nicely. Let's do the two colors next to it. It's Odyssey. And currents. Let's move that out. All right, so they're nice. And we got a couple of some blues and greens. So let's see. Immersed and Atlantica. Nice. And then there's like a, a shimmery. Let's do C note and starfish. Starfish is the, the lighter one. C note is a green. Okay. Oh, there's a purple shimmery one too. Let's do that one. Let's do that. And where am I going to put it? <laughs> See how bad I am at swatching? Here, let me do that again. That didn't come out good. All right. Pretty. Yeah, pretty shimmery toppers. Okay. So let's uh, wipe off this. So there's all my swatches. All right. I do have a new brush set. This is the blending brush set I got from Sigma Brushes. So I got all these brand new eye brushes to use and I'm so excited. I waited and got a like a 40% off coupon uh, from them for Memorial Day by signing up for their text, text messages. And that's what I use to get that brush set because it's it look a little pricey. So 40% off. I was like, yes, I'm going to go get my brushes. So I did that. All right. So I did uh, my basic face today. I did uh, my foundation. I used my Fenty, um, Fenty Beauty uh, foundation and her Fenty sticks. 
for my uh, contour and my highlight and my uh, eye base and everything. And then I did my eyebrows with my It Cosmetics eyebrow. It's a uh, just a pencil, you know, and I use a uh, NYX uh, gel over top. So I did, um, I don't know if you can notice, but I did pluck my eyebrows a couple days ago. <laughs> Because they were getting a little out of hand. I usually get them waxed, but I haven't in a really long time. So I had all kinds of nice tweezers I've gotten. So I I did that. All right. So let's see. What colors should we start out with? And let's see. So let's start on the base. Get a nice uh, little fluffy brush here. This is the Tapered Blending E40. I'm just going to use that to uh, buff in this shoreline all over my bases. I do have, like I said, I did bring my little mirror in here. I'm going to move it right in front. I decided I wanted to do it here in the office because the sound is so much better than when I just do it on my phone. If you've noticed some of my other try-ins and I, you know, go back and forth and yeah, and it's, it's like the sound just like goes down when I do it on my phone in my office because this, com this uh, camera in here is hooked up to my, it's uh, connected to my computer and um, yeah, so I can't really uh, bring it into my office or into my bedroom to uh at the vanity. So here I am in the office. Do you, do you like my new backdrop? I got that. I got two of them. So I decided I wanted to try the black with the gold glitter. All right. All right. Let's see. This is the terrible thing about doing the eyeshadow. I have to keep taking my glasses on and off. I need to be able to see what I'm putting on, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then decide what colors I want to use. So maybe we'll, should we go with the, the blue? Should we go with some of the blues that I swatched? I don't think I've done a blue eye look with you guys. And then I can use the White Haven in my corner. So yeah, so okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. This is a, a medium tapered blending brush, the E49. I'm going to take the um, Atlantica, which is the top one there, and I'm going to put that in my crease, blend it in my crease. Okay. All right. Here goes. Now, just so you all know, I am not a makeup artist. I am not a professional. I'm just someone who regular person who likes to do her makeup and try different things with her makeup. All right. So no criticisms as far as that goes. I mean, you could give me, you can do some criticisms, but don't be mean, you know, because I'm not professing to be a professional makeup artist or anything. So that's kind of a pretty color. What do you think? How's, how's your day been? It's Thursday. It's getting to the evening time. Um, I'm still doing my physical therapy. I'm down to twice a week now. But I woke up today and my knee was just like super um, tight. And, you know, stiff again. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, is this ever going to get better and stop and be normal again? I feel like it's not. It's been four months and I just, it's very frustrating. So, but I went to my physical therapy. I spend like an hour and a half there when I go there. And so now I won't be going back again until Tuesday. So I'm going to have to utilize my um, treadmill. I should, I haven't gone to Orange Theory in about a week. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been bad. So I need to get back there. So I, I try to bring this little, this eyeshadow up because of my hooded eyes. 
so that we can actually see the eyeshadow. And I know I have wrinkly eyes. I don't like doing close I've tried when I do close-ups, it's like you can see all the wrinkles. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow or, you know, the, the primer I use. I couldn't tell you because I, I switch it out all the time, so I don't remember. But this time I used the Fenty Stick um, concealer under my eyes and on top of my eyes today. So I'll try to remember that and see how it looks. All right. So I've done that. So let's go with the, the lighter blue underneath. I can't tell you what it's called, but maybe you can see it. It's the, this one. All right. Okay. I'm going to put that on the lid. I'm just using the same brush because they kind of blend them together. Hmm. It's not spreading too nicely there. Maybe I use, use my finger. Let's put, use my finger and try it. See if I get a better payoff. Yeah, I think I get a better payoff using my finger. Put that brush on. Going for the mermaid look today. And it's okay. If I, we don't like it, it will just wash off, right? It's just makeup. Okay. All right. Let me find a different brush to, which one do I want to use? Let me put my glasses on. So, because I want to get a smaller brush to uh, put some of this uh, White Haven. Uh, on the inside inner corner part this will work I think it's a little smaller a detail blending brush E27 so let's see how that works I'm going to blend that partially over here get a little more just to soften out that blue a little bit yeah let's do the other side these two blend together nicely not having any issues other than having to use my finger for that one blue color Now, I'm going to try some of that glitter, but hopefully I don't need, like, glitter glue or anything. Hopefully it'll just go on. So, we'll give it a try, right? Let's give it a try. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm liking this. Blend it on in. in the inner corner there good all right blend a little bit um, I'm just using what's left over on this brush with the other blue shades and putting them underneath my eye just to kind of marry the colors together Make sure I'm all blended good here. And bring it under the eye. Okay. All right. They say trust the process, right? First you're like, ooh, what's going on here? But I, th I, think, I think it's going good. All right, so I'm going to try uh, a little bit of this infinite glitter. All right, you ready? 
Am I ready? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. It is the Glitz Glam Box, right? So I'm just going to put it right in the center of my eye. I'll have to do a, try to practice on a cut crease glitter eye. What do you think? Practice that a little bit and then come on and show you what I learn. Oh, with that little bit of purple silver, bringing out the mermaid look. All right, I'm not seeing much fall. It's, it's loose in the pan, but it's going on my finger nice. In the middle finger there. <laughs> I don't want to give you the middle finger. Put it right on the center of my eye. I think I like that. I think I like that. What do you all think? Get that on there good. All right, so now we need a little bit. I have uh, my Pixie uh, waterline. I'm just going to put this in my lower waterline. Okay, on and off with the glasses, right? Just that little bit there and I'm not going to do an upper one because I'm going to put those lashes on get all this glitter off my fingers um, I wonder, maybe I should do a little of the green make it real mermaidy put some of that C note green somewhere maybe I'll do I use the same blending brush, but I use it to just go like around the corner edge of my eye. I'm just pulling a little bit of green. Yeah. So yeah, so so leave so leave me little notes down below. Tell me how your day's going. Want to try to get to know you all. I'm up to 35 subscribers, so thank you so much. Appreciate that. And uh, we're working our way up, right? Working our way up. I'm starting to do some little courses, <laughs> YouTube courses, to see, because I'm not going back to work. Presk. Uh, I'm not ready, you know. It's the knee's not ready. I'm ready. The knee's not ready, and my physical therapist, you know, doesn't want me to do full time at first, and they're not wanting to hire me full time with, and especially not with limitations, and and I'll have some limitations still for a little bit to go, probably another month, month and a half, something like that. I don't know. So yeah. So here I go. Going to therapy and making YouTube videos. Just keep me busy. And I have something to do, right? Ooh, what do you think? I like that. I'm going to find the zoom in on here so you can see. All right, I found it. Ooh. Move my mirror. So I can see what you see. Yeah. I like it. It's the definitely a mermaid look. And I like that. Oh, I didn't use my mermaid brush. <laughs> oh, no. All right. So so hang on. I'm going to uh, pause you here and go get um, my uh, equipment for my lashes. And let's zoom us back out again. All right, get my glasses so I can see and my hair. All right, 
so yeah all right hang on i'm gonna go get my little scissors and my lash glue and my tweezers so i can put those lashes on all right hang on okay i'm back got all my things i've got my little scissors my little tweezers um extra scissors in case those don't work <laughs> got my lash glue i use velour and then here's our lashes all right, so first, uh, let me get out some mascara here. I brought some mascara in here. Where did I put it? Of course, I need my glasses to find it in my little tub of makeup I put in here. Here we go. All right, some lipstick and stuff in there, too. So I just have my Princess Lash Mascara. It's Essence Lash Princess, it says. False, false Lash Effect Mascara. I first saw this with um, Bailey Sarian. She loved it. And it's a drug, just a cheap drugstore, but it works very well. I'm going to go up to my mirror here. Let's put a single coat just so that my lashes will blend in with the false lashes. I think this will be my first time actually putting lashes on on camera. So, woohoo! I think I've done enough where I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I've done enough. You know, you've seen me wearing lashes and, get, and, be, and not wearing lashes, but yeah. I like this eye look. It's very pretty. I get I got a scheduled a hair appointment so but it's not till next Saturday the 19th she had been out of town so she was all booked solid until the 19th so I'm like oh no well I guess I can hold on until then I told her call me if she gets a cancellation because you know my schedule's so busy that uh you know <laughs> it would be hard to fit that in don't you think if she just called me we're the only thing I have going on is my physical therapy now twice a week. And I, I've started, I asked them, I said, let's back up. I've been going in the afternoons, you know, 2 o'clock-ish, 3 o'clock-ish. And my sleep schedule has been screwed up <laughs> since I've been out of work for four months. And I tend to be a night owl. Well, now, like, I can't fall asleep before, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. It's awful. And so I said, let's back, let's start backing up my physical therapy time to force me to get up. So my therapy's at noon. So if I want to get up and shower and all that, I have to get up between 10 and 10.30, which is, whoo, that's early for me right now. <laughs> crazy. All right, so I'm going to take these off using my tweezers and so you've got a shorter, shorter side that's the inner side and then the longer side is for the outside and I like to loosen them up, loosen them up and then I'm going to um, kind of measure them and trim off the ends from the outside part because they're always always too long for my eyelashes and they always have a little point on the end I don't know if you can see that and I trim that off too so it doesn't poke my eyelid <laughs> so let's um I'm just going to kind of see where we're at here oh yeah <laughs> I always have a hard time with that part let's see what did I do here we go Let's use my tweezers and hold them and just kind of see where it sits. Yeah, I need to go like three in there. So let's put my glasses back on. Get my trusty little scissors. And first I'm going to, on the inner corner, I'm going to cut off that little edge here yeah I don't like these scissors 
I like these scissors, but I hadn't used those before, but it happened with another pair of scissors I had. They just didn't want to grab on and cut. All right, so I got that little end off. You can see, so it doesn't poke my eye. Now on this end, I'm going to do like, um, for me, about three sets of lashes in. One, two, three. Okay, so now I've trimmed them so that they fit my eyeball. All right, set that down. I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. The inner corner comes off. And about three lashes in on the outer portion. Yeah, I had a hard time at the beginning until I started watching some videos about how to put the lashes on because I didn't know you could cut them and shorten them. But I'm like, God, they're huge in my eyes. You know, what do I do? Let's do that. All right. So now this is a trick I learned um, from someone online. Uh, deep, deep, I, it's She's the same one that I copied when I did that neon look from Il Maquillage. And I did the neon eyeshadow look. Um, she does, um, I have to find it and put her link down below. But she has lots of eye tutorials and she gets right up there in the eye so you can see what she's doing. But she takes the glue and just puts it on right on the eyelid instead of on the lash. And I have found that that works so much better. Now the glue has to go on your eye anyway. And they've started making some uh, eyelash glue that they say, oh, yeah, you just put it on your eyelid and, you know, and it's the liner and everything. And, but they're like black. And I found I don't like them as much. I like this clear. That way, if you mess up, you can't see it because, <laughs> you know, I mess up. All right, you can just put that on. Let it sit for at least 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, because the glue is going to touch your eye anyway. And I was like, that just makes so much sense. So this is just regular old eyelash, regular eyelash glue velour in clear. And I'm going to do my little eyelash, get it ready here while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. I stood up when I went to go get all my little tools after I, I turned you off for a second and I had all this glitter <laughs> all over my shorts. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Okay, so I'm going to take my eyelash. Okay, I've got this one here. So my left eye. I'm just going to set it right in the center. And I kind of set it down in the glue and then I squeeze my eyelashes together with the false lashes to marry them together. Ooh, look at these. What do you think? I have to do another zoom in. You know I forgot to curl my lashes. Oh well, that's okay. That's okay. Because we're just squishing them together with the false lashes, right? Now make sure, sorry if I'm going to get out of the camera for a second, I'm looking in the mirror, making sure the band is on the glue. Okay, so there's one eye. Let's get our second eyelash and give it a little Loosen up there so to make it more malleable so go on my eye better. Okay, yep, got the short side there. I can, I can semi see. <laughs> All right, I'll set this right down there. Okay. 
Make sure the band is on the glue. And squeeze all my lashes together. Is that on there? Feel like something's funny. There. Oh, I think I fixed it. All right, and then I'm going to take some of this waterline uh, eyeliner again from Pixie. I'm going to go right in the upper waterline. Fluttering eyelashes. Just to, um, so you don't see any gaps there between the lashes. Okay, I think, let me get my magnification mirror and just double check. Ooh, look how glittery that looks. Oh, all right, I've got the zoomer in for you. All right. Let me stand up for you. Ugh. Get in the camera. See how wrinkly my eyes look? I'll look up for you. I see a 54-year-old eyes. My 54 year old eyes. Go flutter those lashes. All right. Okay. Put my glasses on so I can see again. I still got my swatches on, I see. Um, and I'm going to put some lips on and a little highlighter. And I got some powder here. Lips, lips, lips. We're just going to do a nude lip. Um, got my Dominique. I think this was in Crush. This is I got this in one of my very first Boxy Charms. Uh, yeah, Crush. All right. So this lip balm has been nice that I've been wearing. Like the coconut flavored one. Uh, haven't really noticed it. It's, it seems to have moisturized my lips quite well. I'm looking very glowy, aren't I? I used a uh, lotion earlier today called Glotion by Tarte. Before I had done any of my makeup, but I was going to physical therapy, so that kind of gives your skin a nice glow. All right, and this is a Maybelline um, Baddest Beige. Okay. Yep. Just a nice new lip there. That's good. Now for highlighter, I brought in... Did I not bring in, oh, I didn't bring in my highlighter brush. Oh, I got a highlighter brush, I think. I think, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, one of my uh, Sigma brushes here. And this is the, I can't read this one. There, there it is, High Cheekbone Highlighter, uh, the F03. But I've got some Ofra highlighter here. And I got, now that's a blusher. Here we go. 
This is called Starlight, or Start Inspired Highlighter by Samantha March. It's a Samantha March collaboration with Ofra. So, try this out. I'm just going to swab it all in there. You ready? I love some Ofra highlighters. I like the Jaclyn Hills. And there's other ones I've used that I really like, but I just love these Ofra highlighters. They're like my favorite. Right? You think? Because I wasn't glowy enough. <laughs> I needed a little more glow. Little more glow. Can't be too glowy, right? So I'm going to take a little bit of a brush. Do I have something? And let me find another brush because I want to go in the um, upper eyebrow bone. And then in the inner corner of my eye. Because I just have to make it more glowy. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right in the inner corner. Okay. Love it. I think I need a little more blush. I'm going to try this blush. It's also from the Samantha March collection. Let me find me a nice little brush. I'll just use my highlighter brush. Just kind of mix those two together. Oh, this highlighter brush is too small, I think. Yeah, let me get a different brush. And more of a a, a bigger brush here. And I like to bring it up. I know some people are like, oh, I don't want to do the 80s and going up, but on my face, because it's round, this helps to bring it back up. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I like me some blush. I like the glow. Look at that glowy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I am just shining all over. <laughs> and I've got a little setting spray, or it's not set, I've got a Fenty setting powder. So this is in, um, I think, what is it in? I have to put my glasses on to look, this is, but this is the Fenty setting powder. Just gonna dab on a little bit to set my makeup in place. Oh, I didn't put any mascara on my lower lashes. I need to do that too. Just this tiny bit. Bring it on down. Think about this. It's hard to get the lid on right. Kind of like when you're putting a lid on your um, cups with the straws, you know. You got to get it just so, so that it goes on there. And a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes. Just a little bit. Let's come on. I keep going so low that you can't see me. 
you should see I have a mess on my desk now. Because I brought all my makeup in here in the office. Okay, just being careful not to put too much because I tend to like get mascara all over the place. If I don't pay attention. All right. I have a little brat in my hair today. You know, because you know I'm trying to grow it out and <laughs> it's always getting in my face. This this helped a little bit. A little cute. I don't know. It's moving around there. But <laughs> so that's it. All right. So that I think we're done. So that's the final look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you want to wear it? I'll take a couple pictures too to put it at the end of the video. All right, so that's the end. That's my Glitz Glam box. This is the eyeshadow look I made out of the palette. I love it. My ocean palette. Okay. And uh, their lashes, their lip balms are fabulous the duo we got so this box is totally worth it $15 $2.99 for shipping so it's $17.99 or 18 bucks with tax and everything and it's uh, once a month and yeah I've been really enjoying this box so I'll leave their link below so you can check them out and we will see you in the next one but don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out greatly. It really does. And all right. Bye, everybody.